Hey you guys, so I just finished this cute nail tutorial. Another Hello Kitty. I don't know what's wrong with me this month. Hello Kitty is like <gasps> obsessive. So I did this cute little look. Let me see if it can focus. Like I loved, loved how they came out. See, I'm doing this to my toes next. And um, if you want to know how I did this kit tutorial, stay tuned. Okay, ladies, so let's get started. We are using a paper. And we're going to blot some white. Well, I was doing it with one of the art polishes. But... It kind of broke, so I'm going to try something else. I was still using the same nail polish, though. I was just using the other one's brush. And to do my tips, I always do this just to make like a guideline so I don't make any mistakes. And if you don't want to move like the brush, you can move your finger. And that's what I do. See that? And this is my little towel. This is where I clean all my stuff so excuse me if it looks dirty but this is what I use so I don't make a mess go right under the lines so you don't go over and if your white nail polish is as translucent as mine all you have to do is like give it a double coat so now what I'm gonna do is do another coat of white And I'm so sorry about my camera. It's just sometimes it's just like the light washes everything out. So we're going to let this dry. Because you don't want to make a big old mess. Now we're going to let this go. Put it on the side. And then we're going to use a pink color. And then at the end of the video I'm going to show you everything I'm using. And again I'm using the skinny brush. And we're going to do a cute little bow. We have to work fast because the polish gets dry.
fill in the blanks just like that that's what I did now we're gonna go ahead and um, do the little nose so you're gonna use yellow and again we're gonna blob I'm using a dotting tool and we're gonna do the little nose try to do it near the end of the nail okay just like that it might look off center because the bow is sideways so okay now with the same dotting tool we're gonna blob a little bit of black and I'm gonna use the bigger tip to do the eyes and then you want to go up a little bit like that now the other one The eyes will never be the same, of course, because you're not using anything as a guide. But uh, out of everything, all my nails, this was my favorite. Now, with a brush like this one, we're going to blob again the black, and we're going to do the whiskers. And now the other side. Clean the brush. I will apply a little bit of this on the nail and give it a cute little shiny coat then we're going to come back and put a rhinestone on the Hello Kitty bow but before I forget let's blob a little bit of white and make those little lines that I decided to make like in the, in the middle of this tutorial to the bowls nothing huge now that I've let my nail dry a little bit I'm gonna do a coat of clear really fast because you don't want it to smear my And then, getting a dotting tool, I'm going to get a little clear rhinestone. Wait for it to dry a little bit.
And now that I've let it dry, we're gonna do another coat over the rhinestone so it can stick. And what I do is, is that every time I remember, like every day if I remember at least once, I do an extra coat of clear so the rhinestone won't fall. The reason why I do this is because I wash dishes, I clean, I cook, um, I work, I do everything and I don't want to refill the little rhinestones every time one falls. So I hope you guys love the tutorial and let me show you um, what I used. A wheel of rhinestones. Nail tack, it really dries quick. I mean, it doesn't dry that quick, but it'll take maybe a minute or two. And then what I do, since I don't have the skinny brushes, I kind of switch them with another polish that has the same tone and that's how I use them so I'm using this pink and it's confetti the dotting tool the brush and the white oh the yellow too and the yellow Oh, don't forget the black. It's also so confetti. I really don't look at brands when it comes to nail polishes. I try them all, but if I find one that is good and it works for me, doesn't dry quick, then I keep buying it. Doesn't matter if it's a dollar or six dollars. And don't forget a paper to blob. So hope you like and love this tutorial and if you did please sub for more future tutorials so I just finished the tutorial hope you guys really enjoyed it it was so cute right anyways um, if you want to see more leave me a comment down here and let me know what would you like to see and I will try my best to do it um, also don't forget to keep up with us on Facebook we do everything there first before we announce it here so don't forget to add us there too okay well love you guys and hope to see you guys soon or you see me whichever bye <laughs>